This is my product review of the Kato Fume Extractor, a very important device if you're doing soldering or welding or 3D printing, and fumes are created that you do not want to be inhaling on a regular basis. So I'm recommending this because I just got it, and I've used it, and I like it, and I want to tell you about it. By the way, nobody's paying me or, or telling me to do this. It's just something I like and I want to share, and if you're, if you're doing some research on it, I'm here to endorse the product. First things first, it's a simple job that it does. <laughs> it vacuums out the air. It vacuums out smoke. It, it captures fumes. So it does its job. It does the thing. It does one thing, and it does it well. I also think, too, if you're considering buying one of these or not, like it's all about safety. And if you are inhaling fumes or if fumes exist around you on any regular basis or even at all, and you have the option to get something like this to extract them out of the air, put them through a carbon filter or a HEPA filter, and have them go away essentially, that seems like a prudent thing to do for any long period of time. And so last but not least, I mean, this is an investment. What's it worth to you to have the proper tools and safety equipment for the job? And for me, um, it was a no-brainer once I got this and started using it. Well, let's give you the specs, that tube, it's very flexible. It's it's custom flexible. I mean, it goes to all the right spots, right? It's not wobbly or wonky. It's very robust. It It is very precise. It's 24 inches, and it's connected to a 6,000 RPM fan on the inside of this unit. So you can kind of open it up, take the clamp off, open it up, and below the filter there is that fan. It runs 40 watts, and it's able to extract 52 cubic feet of air per minute, 52 CFMs. Um, where does that stand? That's significant. I'm not going to get into CFMs here on this video, but it's able to extract, especially when you turn it up, it's got an adjustable knob. That's the only uh, operational switch on there. Adjustment on there is one knob. It's got a, uh, it's a potentiometer basically off or all the way on or anywhere else in between. Uh, but at, at the max, it's able to extract 52 cubic feet of air per minute. Now, I do have to tell you, speaking of that, that well, dimmer knob, essentially, that potentiometer, when you turn it all the way up, this thing gets loud. This fan at 6,000 RPM, it produces 55 decibels of noise. What does that translate to? Um, I, it's probably like being next to a loud bus that's on. Maybe not that loud because it's not that big of a device, but... Look it up. 55 decibels is significant. This is louder than I thought. It's not enough to wake up the neighbors. It's not, it's not enough to ruin your life. Just know that this fan, to do its job and to do it properly, it's going to make some noise. And it's variable, right? So when you have it down lower, it's more quiet. When you're cranking it up all the way, yeah, it is a bit louder. This fume extractor, like I said before, it's perfect for removing fumes from anything, whether you're soldering, whether you're welding, uh, or whether you're 3D printing, or whether there's just a situation where you need to move the air and suck it out and clean it out. And you understand how this works, right? The air gets sucked into the tube, goes through the filter, it's sucked through the filter, and then there is an exhaust on the back of this device right next to uh, where the, the the power adapter plugs in. So the, it, it is one smooth flow out the back. But if you're trying to move air, clean it, and evacuate it, that is essentially what this does. Some things to know. Um, Maybe good and bad here, uh, but I, I want to let you know everything all in one swoop here. This, in my opinion, provides way better suction and extraction than a lot of the fume extractors you see that are, are kind of uh, freestanding and they're intended to be put right next to your workspace. First off, then you need to have that fume extractor be super close to wherever you are. In the Kato's case here, you can just kind of program that hose and that mouth closer to you and have the base of it elsewhere. Essentially, you have so much more, literally, flexibility because of that flexible tube. And I think it provides better suction. So it's out of your way, right? The base of this Kato is out of your way. But also, it can, it can provide better fume extraction because the source of the vacuum is that much closer to the work you're doing. It can capture those fumes way closer than if you had to drag in a whole separate, separate unit to your workspace. 
On a positive, I also want to tell you that this device has a pretty steady base. I worried about that, right? Like if you have this 24-inch hose and you're bending it all sorts of different ways, is it possible that the whole thing could like tip over in the middle of your work or is that a problem? Is that a you know situation? It's not. Uh, it's got a very, I don't want to say very heavy base, but heavy enough base, not to the point where you can't move this or it's uh, it's a permanent fixture, but it's heavy enough so that there's no tipping issues involved. It comes with two carbon filters. A lot of people said they would have preferred a HEPA filter, and I understand that, and I, in fact, might make that investment eventually. We'll see how it goes. I've only had this for uh, about a month's time, but um, they do make HEPA filters that easily slide in right on top of the fan. Changing the filter is a breeze <laughs> on this. Um, don't laugh at that. Uh, so and you do have to change the filter every so often anyway. Just to let you know, though, it does not come with a HEPA filter. You can acquire them, I think, a two-pack for maybe less than $18. So uh, it's reachable financially. It just does not come with one. And then the last thing here, I told you about that knob. It's actually mislabeled because it would it would have you believing that the like the the, the off position is is like somewhere around nine o'clock, more like probably seven or six or seven o'clock, seven o'clock let's say, but it would have you think that twelve noon straight up is the maximum suction on it. When in reality that's only fifty percent. It's labeled like straight up is a hundred percent. Actually, more like five o'clock is a hundred percent. But you'll figure that out quite quickly. It doesn't, it doesn't take more than two seconds to realize that knob is actually mislabeled. But the Cotto Fume Extractor looks cool, does an important job, keeps me healthier and safe, and especially with you know kids around. And you just don't want fumes anytime you're doing... In my case, it's soldering work, but you don't want these, these dangerous fumes to be lurking, looming... Um, I do this in my garage where it's pretty ventilated anyway, but especially if you were in a smaller workspace, you want to get those fumes out of there. So I greatly recommend the Cotto Fume Extractor. 